and salutations. <clears throat> it is Sunday, October 4th, and I've kind of been on a weird kick lately. Um, so I don't know if I've mentioned this much, but I started a thing in August called the TBR Pal Squash, the To Be Red Pal Squash. And um, as you know, one if you well, as you know, if you watch my videos, um, you know that I made a bunch of New Year's resolutions this year. And I still have them. They're still sitting right in front of my computer. Um, I didn't get all of them done yet. Um, there's a couple that I haven't been doing, but one of them that I've actually stuck to and I'm actually really proud of myself is I have not bought myself a new book all year. Um, I decided that I was going to spend more time a discovering more fan fiction because it's a really, really deep seated love of mine. And two, I wanted to get through books on my shelf that I've never read. There's a shockingly large amount. What would happen is I would get gift cards for my birthday or for Christmas and I would go to the bookstore and I would just buy all of these books even if I if the cover looked cool, if the back of it looked interesting, if I liked the color or the art of the cover. Um, and I just, even if I knew nothing about it or maybe it was like a an old book or a classic, sometimes I would grab those too. I just wanted to fill up my bookshelf and I was looking at Tumblr and I saw all these pictures of all these books I was like, man, I wish my bookshelf looked like that. Oh wait, it kind of does. I should go see. And I saw another post and it was someone saying that they actually went through their book and made a pile of all the books they had read versus all the books they hadn't read. And the books that they had read had only just passed height wise, um, the books that they hadn't. And even number wise, it was just insane. And so <clears throat> I kind of took a look and I realized there were a lot of books on my shelf that I hadn't read. There were a lot that I had, most of them I have actually. I think I figured out at about 65, 70% but that's still a lot of books that I've spent money on that I haven't even touched. So um, I've been reading uh, Game of Thrones for the, like the sec just under the second half of the year because I started this in August. Um, so the first five days of the month, I don't read any fan fiction. I don't read um, anything that's on my shelf that I haven't read. I just kind of focus on, for me, I focus on one book. And it's made me realize how little time I have to read uh, because most of my reading I do at night when the husband's asleep so I'm doing it on the iPad because I can still see it I can't turn on a light while the husband's asleep he kind of he really needs darkness to read and I can turn the brightness down on my screen on my iPad so I can still read so it's made it interesting to try and find time to read I've I read on the bus and on the train on the way to work um, I will read in the evenings if I'm not feeling up to playing video games for whatever reason that night um, it's also taught me that without fan fiction I find myself with a lot of free time because as amazing as Game of Thrones and Game of Thrones is I'm on the second book right now um A Clash of Kings I still don't I don't always want to use that much brain <laughs> so there's there's books that I read that are definitely like YA so I read Sarah Dustin I read John Green um and they they require some concentration but they don't require a lot of thinking like where does this fit in who is this person how are they related to what's going on right now and Game of Thrones is full of that which is awesome because it's the world is so vast and I love fantasy like that I just it's, it's Harry Potter but like on a whole nother level you know how much I love Harry Potter so I was so I'm realizing that I, I need something to sink my time in while I can't just, you know, read fan fiction for these five days. So I've found myself downloading apps on my phone and on the iPad just to like kill half an hour when I need a break in between chapters. Like, oh my god, I just I need to register what just happened and like let it sink in for a bit. Um, I will say though that in reading Game of Thrones, Tumblr is extremely helpful because of all the gift sets that come through uh, or just fan art or whatever that I can visualize these characters and having even having not really, really watched the show but I've seen enough of the gift sets and I've watched enough clips and interviews that I know what people look like which helps trying to figure out where they all fit in like you can throw all these names at me and I'm like okay great but if I can get a picture in my head I'm like right that's uh, Michelle Faley who plays or Fairley who plays uh, Hermione Granger's mom in Deathly Hallows and she plays Catelyn Stark right okay so she's married to Sean Bean who and they have a kid and they have the bastard guy who's on the wall and he's like really really hot and then they she, he does a lot of press with Amelia Clark who plays Cal Drogo who plays Daenerys who was married to Cal Drogo who is Jason Momoa who was freaking Ronan Dex in Stargate Atlantis and I just like like it just that's how my mind works it's totally a women are spaghetti men are waffles thing but that's how my brain works and it's really helping me keep people and shit straight in the Game of Thrones universe because um, holy crap it's convoluted and I love it um, 
But yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing for the last little bit is just kind of slowly working through my TBR pile squash. So next year, I am going to allow myself to buy more books because, oh my god, I miss, I miss fluffy YA. I really, really do. And I haven't really read any. I'll read it the other you know, 25 plus days of the, year, of the month. But those five days where I'm like, okay, I'm going to go read. I'm really excited to read. And then I go, oh, right. I'm reading Game of Thrones. There's nothing really fluffy about Game of Thrones. And so after those five days, I like binge on like the fluffiest either YA or fan fiction that I could find. It's like, I need something light and non-substantial. Um, but yeah. Wow. I have talked for five minutes about this. That is kind of amazing. I, I can ramble. All right. So that's my video for today. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are reading currently. And if you are not a huge reader, if you don't like actually read physical books, what do you read? Do you read anything? What do you do with your free time that involves looking at words in long form? Um, whether it be e-reading, whether it be fan fiction, whether it be blog posts, nonfiction, news articles, if you're a huge news junkie, that counts. You're still reading. Um, but yeah, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I promise, I have stuff planned for this week. Uh, I'm going to be editing it today and uploading it. So that is the thing that will happen. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.